I want you to know right off the bat, uh, your cohorts down there are saying that their room is the room. It's the fun room. Oh, the really? Fun room. Yeah. Who's in this fun room? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think? Who do you think's instigating the trouble over there? Mm. It might be a small little thing called Georgie. Mm. Yes, I think it is. Uh, and I'm so, first of all, I'm so glad to be in here because I, I dislocated my shoulder and I was wondering if you could uh, fix it for me. <laughs> I, I didn't know uh, you had a little medical training there in the film. I, actually, well. I actually want to become a doctor for no more. Though. Okay, there so, you go. Yeah. Perfect, per perfect thing to do. And I, I found a lot of similarities uh, in the characters because the characters got sucked away from this Narnia world and had to go back to the real world, unlike you guys, actually. How was it getting going back to the real world after this magical world of filming? And I feel it's like we lead two completely different lives. On, on the one hand, we're out here sort of, you know, in these you know, weird hotels and you know, going to you know, random locations around the world, you know, making this film and, and publicizing it. And then on the other hand, we're just regular school children. You know, we go to school like everyone else on the bus. And, and so it's, you just slot back into the regular life. And, you just forget that you know this world you know exists. So when I'm when I'm here, I, I forget about you know home life. When I'm at home, I forget about this life. And yeah, well, for me, the two are very much they're not kind of separate as they've always been yeah. balanced, really. Um, and it, as Scanna says, it is odd sometimes going mm. from one aspect of it to the other. But mm. I think they fit really well together. I mean, I don't think I would want to be on sets like this if I couldn't also have my brother and sister around bringing me back yeah. down to earth and. Uh, I started at university three weeks after we finished doing this movie, and people were very kind of accepting of it and normal about it. Yeah, I was going to say, because I would imagine, though, I mean, this movie was huge. It was everywhere, and yet the, 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 you say you're going back to school, but these people are, look, can't, are they looking at you the same? Because, you know. Um, well, I think, I mean, because we were friends, I was friends with all my current friends before, so yeah, right. for them, it's not, they're not like they've become friends with the guy from Narnia. It's like their friends become the guy from Narnia. Okay. And it's, it's just a weird little side thing. You've got to keep the kids away that want to be your friends because yeah. you're a Narnia. Story. Yeah. Now, did, I did notice a, uh, a theme in the movie. When you can't shoot an arrow, stick them with an arrow. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> well, some, you know, that takes a little time. Sometimes it's more convenient just to throw the thing. Uh, definitely a lot more action in this movie. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think certainly. that would have been a lot more. But the thing that got me was when I, I'm, I'm imagining, okay, you get your call sheet for the day. It says, okay, going to work. Um, Go play in the water, in the ocean. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, come on, you're getting paid to do that? That was amazing. I was kind of, originally in the script, that was just something that Susan did, actually, was that Susan ran off and, di and dived into the sea. And we got to the Coromandel in New Zealand, which is where we shot that first sequence. Mm. And it was so beautiful. Mm. We all just kind of ran in. Well, your uh, cohorts over there tell me that you didn't want to go in the water. I didn't want to do a kind of Baywatch dive into it. <laughs> okay. But once we got there and saw that it was a gorgeous beach, we all just kind of ran in. Mm. Man, I just, I just think about just uh, as being young and getting paid to do all this stuff. But to me, that, that particular day was just like, oh, man, mm. I, I have the worst job. These guys have the best job. It's over. <laughs> now, how do you, who do, where can we file a complaint, uh, age discrimination thing? Who, what, what lion's going to tell me I can't go back into Narnia? <laughs> What's up with that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, it, it was bittersweet finishing yeah. this film because when we when we finished we knew that we wouldn't be filming Dawn Treader with these guys mm -hmm. but at the same time Will and I have learned an awful lot from making these movies and I think we're both ready to do new things and mm -hmm. play new roles uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't think that actually I could play the same role seven times for seven months at a time I think I feel ready to do other stuff get a little bit more difficult to play roles when <laughs> you can all do when you have a beard and you know <laughs> yeah. and you're just like you're trying to play younger yep. but definitely I thought I was really surprised because out of all the books which I read as a kid this one I, I did I, I like the least, and and I, I, it was so much better than I thought the the last movie. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are uh, you know fans of the whole series and so forth, but mm -hmm. you know. yeah, yeah. I think um, I think Andrew's saying you know this was a real challenge to meet and um, to make, and they've they've put so much more in it. And while they have stayed true to the story, they haven't they haven't really offended it by adding this new stuff in. It all yeah. sort of complements everything they've got, and it really is um, a, a great you know they've they've worked on it, they've made it. You know, a really incredible story and an incredible film to go and watch. Yeah, great job. Love it Thank to you meet so you. Thank you so much. Thank you.